Part of the work we've been doing at Slimbridge for many years is to investigate lead poisoning in waterfowl particularly. Many of these birds pick up lead shot in mistake for the grit that they need to grind and digest their food. And the lead salts from those pellets are absorbed into the bird's bloodstream uh, and they become sick and often die of lead poisoning. So I'm going to cut these connective tissues away. Uh, WWT Slimbridge have uh, been carrying out post-mortems on dead water birds since the early 1950s, so we have a huge database of uh, causes of death in wild waterfowl. Their plumage becomes soiled, they have a job to walk around, they drag themselves around on their wings, uh, they don't preen because they have a paralysis of the neck muscles. Uh, and then they're unable to eat as well. The esophagus is empty, so the bird hasn't fed for a while, which also could suggest it's had lead poisoning for a little while and it's feeling very sick. This is solid muscle either side. So they grind up the food using the grit that the bird's eaten. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. Guess what we've got? Spent gunshot that this bird has ingested, so indeed it has lead poisoning. There's, there's loads of it, certainly more than enough to kill a swan. Yeah, 21 shot in total from this bird. But most of these are lead pellets uh, which have been taken from the gizzards of dead birds. Once lead falls into the environment, it, it stays there, so birds are still picking up pellets that have been in the soil for maybe 40 or 50 years. So this is a really big problem.